Hey guys, welcome back to Nashley's Kitchen once again. Today we are going to be making smoke erin. So I've got smoke erin here. This one is 250 gram. And the first thing I'm going to do is cut open my packet. It's quite salty, like saltfish. If you know about saltfish, you know about smoke erin. So the first thing you need to do I will de-head it so I don't need the head and I'm gonna cut that in two pieces remove the tail and I'm gonna wash that and scald out all of that so I'm gonna boil out all of the salt give me a minute so now that my erin is nice and washed, I am going to put that on the fire and boil the salt out. So what you can do, guys, is you boil it however many times. You can do it once or twice, depends how salty you would like it. I don't want the salt to boil out completely because I don't want to then have to add season or salt to it. I'm going to add season, a little bit of season for taste. But I don't want to have to add salt to it. So I'm going to boil that for a few minutes. Then rinse it off and pick it up. So I'm going to put it in pieces and debone it. Also remove all the bones and all that. So stay tuned. So in the meantime, I'm boiling my smoke erin. I'm going to cut up my season. So I'm going to cut up my tomato and my onion smoke erin um it's a beautiful um delicious dish you can have for lunch or breakfast um uh, you can fillet it you know you can do so much things you can fry it i'm using onion and tomato to season it so i'm just gonna have that with my fried dumpling you can have it with yam you can have it with wild dumpling you can have it with wild banana you can have it with many things you know it's just like ackee and saltfish it tastes good with rice it tastes good with wild dumpling it tastes you know with banana i love my dumpling <laughs> you hear me talking about wild dumpling all the time so chop up my so i'm using just four it's quite small tomatoes so that's the reason why i'm using four i want a lot of uh season and i love my onion if anybody knows me knows i love onion so i'm using two onion just two medium sized onion And I love my pepper, so this is scotch bonnet. So I freeze my pepper so they don't go off quick. So I buy a whole lot of them and I freeze them. So I'm going to use half of scotch bonnet pepper and my spring onion. This is the last thing I will add to it. So I'm going to add this at the end. Just before I turn the stove off. Enough just to give it a nice presentation. A presentation and i would definitely eat it if you don't like spring onion you don't have to eat it but me i will be eating every bit of everything i put in this because i love my onion and i love my pepper so i need it spicy so as we're having um smoke ring bubbling up at the moment so it's boiling you can just open up that for presentation so I'm gonna add a few colors to it a few rings onion rings Be 
People must be saying, plenty of onion. She love onion, man. Yeah, certain things, when you do it with a lot of onion, it just brings out a nice flavor. It's beautiful. That's the way I like it. You don't have to do the same. It is my choice. Okay, so... Now that my earring is nicely boiled, I'm going to rinse it off and then start by picking it up. My nose, <laughs> my eyes running. Believe no matter how much and how long you're in the kitchen cooking, no matter how many years, this onion always, always run your eyes. Okay, guys, so while my pot is being heated up, I am going to debone my earring. Put a lot of fine bone in, that's the only thing with it. So we have to be careful. So I've boiled it for about five minutes, then soak it into cold water um, for another two minutes, then I rinse. I don't want it all mincy, so I want big pieces. So I'm just gonna do that. Clean it up a bit. So that's the inside. Clean that up a bit. All these. I'm sorry, I'm very fussy and picky with how my mackerel or salt fish or how it's been handled. A lot of people think, oh, she'll waste the whole thing. No, I like it clean properly because if I taste any bits that not supposed to be in my mouth, it puts me off from eating it again. So I'm doing it how I like it. cooking you know as you go along you learn each day and you pick up so Let's actually put this to the side. And you can take the skin off as well. It's your choice. But I don't want the skin in it. So while my pot is getting hot, I'm going to put some olive oil in it. So now that we finish um, picking up our erin, my oil is nice and hot. I'm going to add my tomato, scotch bonnet pepper, and chopped onion to fry for a couple of minutes. So this one I've left for presentation, so I will put that in at the end. So you have your chopped tomato, onion, scotch bonnet pepper. two minutes then I'll sort it out 
And you have your earring. The only season I will be having, I've got a special season here where it's got thyme, fish season, pimento seed. So it's got a lot of um, herbs in it and spices. So I will be using that as season because I don't want anything with too much salt. That smells so good. I just love the smell of fried onion. Erin has got a lot of fine bones. I've tried my best to pick them out as much as possible. Still got a few left in there. A lot of fine bone in it. Even though my daughter is three years old, she's very clever. So she always eats and feels with her tongue. So she there's nothing going down her throat. So I'm gonna toss that in. I will sprinkle just a little bit of seasoning so your spice and herbs sprinkle a little bit but as I said earlier is very salty so you don't want to add too much season to it that's beautiful Perfect, I don't need any more season. That is just right. And then that's when I will add my season, my spring onion and onion rings for presentation. So now some people would be saying that's too much onion and too much spring onion, but that's how I want it. You can have that with either crackers. You can have it with crackers. You can have it with wild banana. You can have it with yam. Yeah. Our dumpling. So I'm having it with fried dumpling today. <laughs> 